Many people harbor a phobia of the ocean. These fears are largely unjustified because, statistically, very few people die in the water. However, the sea is home to many mysteries, earning it the title Earth's Final Frontier. As explorers push further into the depths, they are confronted with increasingly bizarre artifacts. From ancient boats to buried treasure, we're exploring the craziest things found at the bottom of the ocean. 2,400-year-old boat in the Black Sea In October 2018, scientists traveling along the Bulgarian coast of the Black Sea discovered the world's oldest known boat sitting at the bottom of the ocean. The researchers were stunned to find the merchant vessel closely resembled the design of a ship that decorated ancient Greek wine vases. The rudder, rowing benches, and even the contents of its hold remain intact. It's like another world, Helen Farr from the expedition told the BBC. While older intact sailing vessels have been recovered from Egyptian burial sites on land, it's unusual for submerged ancient wrecks to be preserved so well. The unique preservation of the 2,400-year-old ship is due to the unusual water chemistry of the Black Sea and the lack of oxygen below 600 feet. Dating to the year 400 BC, the boat was used to trade between the Mediterranean and Greek colonies on the Black Sea coast. It was discovered more than 80 kilometers off the Bulgarian city of Burgas. This wreck shows the unprecedented potential for preservation in the Black Sea, which has been a critical crossroads of world cultures for thousands of years, said the lead scientist on the dive mission. The discovery sparked a new interest in the region, and researchers expect to find many more sunken treasures in the coming years. Ancient Roman Pill when you think of ancient items that would survive in a submerged shipwreck for thousands of years, a pill probably isn't at the top of the list. But that's exactly what happened in 2013. Around 120 BC, the Relito del Pazzino, a Roman shipping vessel, sank off the coast of Tuscany. More than two millennia later, in the 1980s and 90s, a team sent by the Archaeological Superintendency of Tuscany began to excavate the ruins, hauling up planks of rotting wood. That cargo, it turned out, included ceramic vessels made to carry wine, glass cups from the Palestine area, and lamps from Asia Minor. But in 2004, the archaeologists discovered it also included something even more interesting, the remains of a 2,000-year-old medicine chest. Although the chest itself, which had presumably belonged to a Roman doctor, was apparently destroyed, researchers found a surgery hook, a mortar, 136 wooden drug vials, and several cylindrical tin vessels, all clustered together on the ocean floor. When they x-rayed the pick sides, they saw that one of them had a number of layered objects inside, five circular, relatively flat gray medicinal tablets. Because the vessels had been sealed, the pills had been kept completely dry over the years, providing a tantalizing opportunity for us to find out what exactly the ancient Romans used as medicine. The pills contain a number of zinc compounds, as well as iron oxide, starch, beeswax, pine resin, and other plant-derived materials. One of the pills seems to have the impression of a piece of fabric on one side, indicating it may have once been wrapped in fabric in order to prevent crumbling. Zemchug Canyon The Zemchug Canyon is one of the largest canyons in the world, and it's totally unique in many ways. This canyon is not only entirely submerged under the Pacific Ocean, it's also visible from space. Named after a Soviet research ship and a word meaning pearl, Zemchug Canyon cuts into the ocean floor at the western edge of the continental shelf, one of the flattest and smoothest places on the planet. It is also deeper than the Grand Canyon, descending deep into the unknown depths of the ocean. Even the rarest of marine creatures are able to survive quite well here, including the endangered short-tailed albatross that comes here to feed at the surface of the water. Various marine mammals are also found in the canyon, such as a wide variety of whales and the remarkable northern sea seal. Many habitat-forming invertebrates and corals are also able to make this canyon their stable home. These include bubblegum and bamboo corals, as well as soft corals and hexantidolid sponges. The diversity of the canyon has been slowly dwindling in recent years as the temperature of the canyon increases, but it's still a major attraction for divers from around the world. Underwater UFO After many decades, explorers believe they are one step closer to discovering the truth behind the mysterious 140,000-year-old Baltic Sea anomaly. 
Bearing a striking resemblance to the Star Wars Millennium Falcon, the Baltic Sea anomaly appears to be formed of pieces of angular metal, prompting claims it is a crashed UFO. Swedish explorer Peter Lindbergh and his Ocean X team of marine explorers discovered the strange object during a dive, searching for an old shipwreck. Lindbergh explained to local media that his crew discovered, on the 300-foot deep ocean floor between Finland and Sweden, a large circle about 60 feet in diameter. You see a lot of weird stuff in this job, but during my 18 years as a professional, I have never seen anything like this. The shape is completely round. Even more intriguing, a structure that looks like a staircase appears to lead to a dark hole with a second structure found nearby. Speculation is rife over what the object could be, with some saying it could be an anti-submarine device left over from World War II, a battleship gun turret, or indeed, a flying saucer. Of course, this story has been picked up by numerous tabloids, but the mystery of the underwater UFO remains unsolved. An ancient computer the world's oldest known computer lay submerged for more than 2,000 years off the treacherous coast of the Greek island of Antikythera. Beneath the weight of the water, the sand, and the wrecked ship that once carried it, the ancient astronomical computer's bronze gears and mechanical parts slowly warped and rusted. It's believed that this complex clock-like device was used by ancient Greeks to calculate the movement of the stars and planets. The device was too fragile to be moved from its home at the National Archaeological Museum of Athens, so the Antikythera Mechanism Research Project team constructed a 12-ton portable micro-focused computerized tomographer that used high-resolution X-rays to probe the object and create a three-dimensional image. The discovery of a piece of the world's oldest analog computer would be a huge and remarkable discovery on its own terms, but it has additional significance in what it can tell us about the development of the field of archaeology itself. It reveals the advanced astrological instruments created and used by ancient engineers, but the protracted nature of the undersea dig reveals archaeological advances in scanning, 3D modeling, and many other sophisticated approaches in reconstructing and analyzing the computer. Ancient City of Alexandria the legendary city of Alexandria was founded by Alexander the Great as he swept through Egypt in his quest to conquer the known world. Now, scientists have discovered hidden underwater traces of a city that existed at Alexandria at least seven centuries before Alexander the Great arrived, findings hinted at in Homer's Odyssey, which could shed light on the ancient world. Alexandria was founded in Egypt on the shores of the Mediterranean in 332 BC to immortalize Alexander the Great. The city was renowned for its library, once the largest in the world, as well as its lighthouse at the island of Pharos, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. There is no sign of the grand marbled metropolis founded by Alexander the Great on the busy streets of this congested Egyptian city of five million, where honking cars spout exhaust whiz by shabby concrete buildings. But climb down a rickety ladder a few blocks from Alexandria's harbor, and the legendary city suddenly looms into view. The lost city of Alexandria is still perfectly intact, with Greek statues and beautiful architecture. An underwater temple discovered by marine divers off the eastern coast shed light on the pharaonic nature of ancient Alexandria, leading to speculation about the grandeur of the forgotten undersea city. 150 million pounds of lost silver A ship's precious cargo of 2,800 bars of silver finally reached the Royal Mint in 2014 to be made into coins, more than 70 years after it was sunk by a German U-boat. The shipment of silver worth 150 million pounds was bound for Britain at the height of the Second World War II, but it was lost at sea after the merchant ship was torpedoed. The shipwreck was originally discovered in 2011, nearly three miles down off of Ireland's coast. The team found much of the silver in the ship a year later, but only recently found much more on the ocean floor. The SS Geyersopper was sunk off the Irish coast in 1941, carrying solid silver bullion from India to bolster the Britain's dwindling war chest. Experts estimate that there is more than $60 billion worth of treasure buried at sea from the age of exploration, and this cargo represents a major percentage of the total loot. Titanic 
This one should not come as a shock. Of course, the story of the Titanic has been immortalized in the eponymous James Cameron film starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. But the real story of the Titanic's discovery does not follow the same structure as the Hollywood movie. The 1985 discovery of the Titanic stemmed from a secret United States Navy investigation of two wrecked nuclear submarines, according to the oceanographer who found the infamous ocean liner. Essentially, the discovery was part of a top-secret mission during the Cold War, but the Navy was sworn to secrecy on the matter until recently. The initial purpose of the trip was to discover if there was any nuclear waste left over from two nearby submarines, but in the end, the mission was fruitful and led to the most famous underground discovery in history. Apollo Rocket Engines 44 years after it helped launch the first men to walk on the moon, a huge rocket engine salvaged from the ocean floor was positively identified as a historic component of the Apollo 11 lunar landing mission. And the man behind this legendary recovery? None other than the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos. Bezos wanted to recover the F-1 engines that powered the Saturn V rocket that blasted the Apollo 11 moon landing mission into orbit. The engines, which were ejected from the Saturn V rocket as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin shot into orbit, were found 14,000 feet below the ocean surface off the coast of Florida. We found so much, Bezos wrote on his website. We've seen an underwater wonderland, an incredible sculpture garden of twisted F-1 engines that tells the story of a fiery and violent end, one that serves testament to the Apollo program. Unfortunately, Bezos says the original serial numbers are partially missing, meaning that we may never know for sure that these are from Apollo 11. Elongated Skulls the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico and Guatemala is coated in sinkholes called cenotes. Due to very specific conditions that exist in these cenotes, human remains and artifacts can persist for many centuries in perfect condition. In 2014, a cave known as Sacuayum was the source of a startling discovery. The human remains discovered were particularly interesting because they were not from Homo sapiens. The skeletons had extremely elongated skulls and came from a close relative of the Homo sapien that existed around the same time. The bones do not bear any marks that indicate cause of death, so the people probably weren't sacrificed. Very few artifacts were found and none to suggest that these people were among the elite and received any kind of special treatment. World's Oldest City For decades, archaeologists have argued about the origins of the mysterious Harappan civilization that flourished across what is now Pakistan and northwest India from about 3000 BC. But in 2014, new findings by Indian scientists working in the Gulf of Kambay suggest that the Harappans were descended from an advanced mother culture that flourished at the end of the last ice age that was then submerged by rising sea levels before history began. Marine scientists say archaeological remains discovered 36 meters underwater in the Gulf of Cambay off the western coast of India could be over 9,000 years old. The vast city, which is 5 miles long and 2 miles wide, is believed to predate the oldest known remains in the subcontinent by more than 5,000 years. Little is known about this culture because few artifacts remain, but archaeologists are starting to piece together this ancient puzzle. Ice Finger of Death this seems like something straight out of a horror movie, but the aptly named Ice Finger of Death is absolutely real. Scientifically called a brinicle, it's a finger-like formation that grows underneath sea ice. Although already known since the 1960s, brinicles are rarely observed in real time. This phenomenon only occurs in specific conditions in the polar regions of the Earth, under blocks of floating sea ice. Unlike frozen fresh water, ice on the ocean surface is composed of two elements. The ice crystal is relatively pure, as the water excludes mostly of the salt during the freezing process. The remaining salty water stays liquid due to its lowered freezing temperature and creates highly saline brine channels within the porous ice block. Because the brinicle causes temperatures to drop so rapidly, anything caught in its path is killed instantly, hence the intimidating name. 